In this video, I'll show you the ideal settings to have for the model browser in Advanced Steel 2018. So let me just get rid of some intelligent boxes. So I'll go on my home tab. I will invoke the Advanced Steel toolpath. There we go. Let's expand that. Before I get started, I just want to uh, make my drawing not as busy. So I'll just go on to the selection. Let's grab those joint boxes. There we go. That's great. I'm going to jump down to the quick views and selected objects off. I'll select that. Much cleaner. Again, I could turn off my um, my wells if I wanted. Highlights all the wells, make it a little bit cleaner. Jump back down to quick views and selected objects off. So that's a little bit nicer. So that, that was quick views. Let's jump up to selection. We'll go to the model browser. As you can see here, we have the model browser. I want to have another column. Perhaps I want to know what type of object it is. I know the model role is uh, railing knee, rail landing. What model object will that be? I right click on the heading, insert column. I'll go to the properties and the object type. So there's a list. The object type is beam. I can see. So it's very, very good. You know, you have the ID number. If you want to search single part, we know single part quantity. We have the object name, model role, object type, single part prefix, assembly prefix, length, width, thickness, material coding, lock phase, and drawing number. I've created a drawing so you can see that this plate is on drawing one. You can use the same uh, workflow to go and add the properties to sort by main part or sort by preliminary part. If you want to edit multiple objects in one shot, make sure you have the edit properties selected. Perhaps if some something doesn't have a model role, you can use the shift select command and go into the right corner. You'll see the little arrow and there you can add a new model row or change one if you wish. So this is how you would use your model browser efficiently.